Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today we're looking at another highly requested vacuum cleaner, the Roidme X20, or Roidme Nex, a handheld vacuum cleaner with a floor mop and Bluetooth. Is it any good? Let's find out. Let's go. In the box, you'll find some instructions, a small cleaning brush, an extra floor roller brush, power adapter, a magnetic wall adapter, motorized mattress brush, the floor mop unit with one extra mop, an extension rod, soft mattress or sofa brush, the motorized floor brush, filter replacement, the vacuum cleaner itself, and last but not least, a flexible crevice nozzle. It sounds like it's a whole lot, and it actually is a whole lot. So let's have a look at its specs before trying this thing out. The Roidme X20, or also marketed as the Roidme Nex, is a very powerful handheld vacuum cleaner with a pretty extreme 120,000 RPM brushless motor, giving you a 145 air watt suction strength at its highest setting. It comes with a 2500 milliamp hour battery that gives you up to 65 minutes of cleaning time at its regular speed. When setting the speed higher, this gets cut down to uh, 45 minutes, and on its strongest or extreme setting, this gets cut down to about 12 minutes. Its charging time from 0 to 100% is around 2.5 hours. It's got a weight of around 2.5 kilograms and it comes with a dustbin that can hold around 0.4 liters and a pretty advanced EPA filtration system. It's pretty quiet at its standard vacuum strength, around 55 decibels, but that gets quite a bit louder on its maximum vacuum strength. So that is a whole lot of specs, but how does it perform in daily life scenarios? So here I've got a whole bunch of stuff, like some ashtray contents, cat food, sugar, salt, some cereals, and some torn up paper. Trying this out on its lowest setting, it actually managed to pick up around 95% of everything in a single run, which was quite impressive. So let's look at that in replay. Despite the fact it was throwing off one of the pieces of cat food, you can see on its lowest setting it's already doing quite a good job. Cool thing with the roller brush is that it actually got a built-in LED light with light sensor, which makes the light turn on when you, for example, use it under a sofa, like right here. Pretty convenient. This floor roller also comes with two different types of brushes, which can easily be replaced. One is this carpet brush, and the other one is for normal floor types. On this floor roller brush, you can also easily attach the floor mopping tank. This is connected with a magnet and it can be as easily removed as it can be attached. This mop unit allows you to vacuum and mop at the same time. I guess some people might be as skeptical as I was when hearing about this, but it actually works quite well. I had a few stains on the floor from a leaking drink and it removed all of that quite easily. To me, it first sounded like a marketing gimmick, but the floor mop attachment is actually very convenient and it did a pretty good job. You will most likely want to move forward to first vacuum, after which the mop will mop the floor, but I found myself moving it back and forth quite a lot automatically, which I guess is not really a big deal, as it did seem to work very well. You can easily remove the dustbin with the button on the bottom of that, and it actually takes off the whole thing. I would advise to do this above your trash can though. It is not a huge dustbin, but I guess it should be enough for normal household cleaning, unless you live like an animal. This bin also has a sensor, so it will let you know if the bin is full with the LED light in the handle, but I guess you can pretty much see that with your own eyes as well. Let's have a look at everything that's included. All of these attachments can be mounted to the vacuum cleaner directly or with the extension rod in between. The ones that you probably will use the most is this floor brush, the one that we've just seen, and the mattress or sofa roller brush. This one seems to do a very good job cleaning your mattress and sofa, and as far as I've tested it, it works really well. I mostly use this at a regular vacuum strength, but you might want to dial it up a notch
The flexible crevice attachment is really used for corners and hard to reach places and it's a nice addition. I mean, it does what you expect it to do. The only thing missing here is a little light, especially for dark corners. The soft mattress brush I feel like can also be perfectly used for desks and keyboards and such. Now let's have a look at the app, as you could pair this with the Roidme app, which I haven't really tried, as I personally have used it with the Xiaomi Mi Home app. You can simply pair it by adding a new device from the devices page, and if the vacuum cleaner is on, it should probably already show as a nearby Bluetooth device. Once it's paired, you can access the device page from where you can see the filter status, the battery status, the standby time, and how much you've already used the vacuum cleaner. You should be able to install any possible firmware updates through this as well, but for the weeks I've had this uh, vacuum cleaner, I haven't had any new updates. And last but not least, you could also mount the vacuum cleaner to the wall with the included wireless adapter, which is a magnetic charger in which you will need to plug the actual power adapter that's included. Additionally, you can just plug in the charger in the back of the handle where you'll find the charging port and that will also work just fine. So what do I think of the Roidme X20 or Nex so far? Well, overall, I am very much impressed with the Roidme. It looks really nicely designed. The suction power at its lowest setting is actually very good and going up one or two steps gives you so much more power, which in most cases is not even needed. Also the 60 minute battery life on normal suction strength is very good. I like the fact that I don't have to constantly press the vacuum cleaners button, but I can press it once to turn on and once to turn off. I like that it has so many attachments and accessories, including the replacement filter, the second mop, and that second floor roller. They've done pretty well with that. I also like that Roidme allows you to replace the battery of the X20, and that replacement batteries should be uh, sold soon. I'm surprised that I actually really like this floor mop attachment. It's so much more convenient than I thought it would be. The Bluetooth functionality is kind of helpful to monitor the filter status or the battery levels, but besides possible firmware updates in the future, which I think is its most notable function, it is a little bit of a gimmick. The dustbin is quite small, being only 0.4 liters in capacity, but I guess for most households it should be enough though. The floor roller brush sometimes throws around some of the heavier debris, like we've seen with the cat food, but it doesn't happen very often, and it's not that bad. Overall, I really do like the Roidme X20. It's a very good value for its price, as on many levels it seems to outperform the much higher priced competitors. The Roidme Nex, or X20, was available on Indiegogo through crowdfunding, and it came out in the Xiaomi Yopin store in China, where it went for 21.99 RMB. You can find it on Amazon through the Roidme store and through the international resellers, where it goes for around 420 US dollars and about the same price in euros. I've put down some links in the description below this video to where you can find them. So that's about it for the Roidme X20, or Roidme Nex the predecessor of the highly praised Roidme F8. So what do you guys think? Is this something you're interested in picking up? Let me know down here in the comment section what your thoughts are. And don't forget to leave a little like below this video to show me that you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, well, know that you probably should. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.